Hey everybody and welcome back to another video and I just bought a whole bunch of LPS so I'm doing like an LPS haul video today but some of them were pretty interesting looking. Some of the pets were not in the best condition, some of them had paint all over them. Some of them were actually completely customized and they were painted very well and they're just all very different looking. But anyways, here they are. So here's the first one that was in the package. It's this cat which was painted most of the way but its eyes were not painted. So I think I'm just gonna paint its eyes. And then also a Cocker Spaniel. Most people don't like these kind, like the really older ones, but I think they're cute, even though as you can see that one's pretty dirty. And I also got this cat, which is like, got this white paint on it. And it looks like they sort of painted all of it and then took the paint off. So I don't really know why they did that, but I'm gonna have to probably just finish painting it. And then there's this pug, which has pen marks all over it, which won't come off, so I'm probably just going to customize this one. And this cat, which looks like it's pretty dirty, as you can see, and there's like its paint coming off around its eyes, and it has like all these pen marks around it. And this very interesting German Shepherd, who is not in very good condition, the paint is coming off around her eyes and her ears, and she has like all this black paint in her ears. So that's gonna take me a while to clean up. And there's this turtle, which is actually in pretty good condition. And there's this bear, which is, it looks like they completely customized it, but then the paint is like rubbing off a little bit there. So I think maybe I'll just take all the paint off or just finish that one spot that came off there. And there's this Yorkie dog, which has pen marks all over it, just like that pug. So I'll probably just have to customize this one too, since those pen marks won't come off. And then there's this dog, which I really like the shiny paint on it, and they completely painted it except for its eyes, so I'll probably just have to paint those eyes. And this one also was completely painted, except for its eyes. And now we have this licking kitty, and I actually already have one of these, so I'm probably going to treat it. And this one's also in pretty good condition too, except for some of the paint coming off. And this like hedgehog, I think, or like a porcupine, it's probably a hedgehog actually. And this one's also in pretty good condition, except for like it has a few marks on it, but I think it's pretty clean looking, except for all that Sharpie that's on the bottom of it. A lot of those had that for some reason, it had like pen all over the bottom. And this beautiful Persian cat, which has white paint all of it, so I'll probably just be able to take the white paint off of it. And then there's this kitty, which was actually completely customized, and it was painted very well. So I wonder why some of them were like not finished and some of them were actually painted very well. And this little mouse, which is actually in very good condition. And then there's this German Shepherd, which I really like, and it's actually gonna be pretty easy to clean. There are like those red spots on it and that stuff will come off really easily with a sponge. And this Cocker Spaniel, which was completely painted again, except for its eyes. And there was this ostrich, which has pen marks all over its eyes, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, since like once, once I clean it, there's still gonna be pen marks on it. And this pig, who's really pretty, as you can see, there's like paint coming off of its face. This one also looks like they finished painting it and then started to take the paint off. So I think I'll just take the rest of the paint off. And there's this dog, which is also completely customized, and they painted it very well. I really like the markings on it, how they like made the the colors kind of fade out. So this person must have been very good at painting them. And there's this pug, which has pen marks all over it and on the bottom of it. They must have used like an entire Sharpie just putting pen on the bottom. It looks like it would have taken up a ton of the pen's ink. And this little mouse, which is really cute. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. And this turtle, which was just painted completely green and its eyes were painted over, I guess. And so I'm probably just gonna like put a design on its shell and take the paint off around its eyes there so you can still see its eyes. And then there is this poor poodle. She is just in terrible condition. I think I'm actually going to try to completely take her to her original condition, like repaint all of her, her hair pink and then make a tail for her. And her nose is like all chipped off and she is missing a tail. And then there's this dash hound who's actually in pretty good condition compared to some of the other ones, especially that poodle was in way worse condition than this dash hound. 
And there's this dash hound who's very pretty. She is customized completely and painted very well. I like how her markings look and she is missing a tail. I don't know why she has like that white around her eye, but other than that, she looks pretty good and I really like the pink around her nose that they did too. And then there's this really pretty dog. I think it's called a Jack Russell. And other than like there's this weird pink stuff on the back of it, this one's also in pretty good condition. There's pink stuff like all over the side of it too, which is really weird. But compared to some of the other ones, this one is definitely in pretty good condition. And then I got this German Shepherd, which is pretty good looking except for one thing. Her head is like attached to her neck in this really weird way. They like glued it on there. So it looks like maybe her head fell off and then they glued it on this really weird way. So I think I am going to actually try to take her head off and then glue it on in a different way. And then there's this Yorkie dog, which has like real hair on top of it. Well, like not real hair, obviously, but there's like fake hair that's attached to it. This one is in pretty good condition too. And there's this dog, which I forgot what these ones are called, but this one is covered in paint and they did not paint its eyes again. But a lot of them like that for some reason. So I think I'm just gonna completely take the paint off of it so that it's just the original pet that it was before. And then there's this dog, it's a chihuahua. This poor chihuahua, it's like very dirty, it has like this black paint on it. But I think I'll be able to clean this one actually, it doesn't look like it'll be that hard to clean. And then there's this fish, and this one also looks like they like started to paint it and then they took half of the paint off. So I don't really know why they did that, but it's like got some paint coming off of it, it's really weird. And then there's this dog, which has pen marks all over it, and I don't really know what I'm going to do about this one because unfortunately most of them can be cleaned pretty easily unless they have pen marks on them since those are permanent. And then there was this very interesting chihuahua, which had like fuzz on it, but half of the fuzz is coming off as you can see, so I'm probably just going to take the rest of the fuzz off. So it will be a normal chihuahua without fuzz, but then it will be pretty clean looking. And then there's this bulldog who's actually in pretty decent condition compared to some of the other ones even though it does have like this pen all over the bottom of it like some of them do i keep saying that some of them are in pretty good condition even though they're not for me i don't really mind if they have a few pen marks on them as long as i can still use them and there's this monkey which i already have so i'll probably trade it and this one's also in pretty good condition and there's this rhino and I have never had a rhino before, so this will be my first LPS rhino. And I'm probably just going to take all of that blue paint off of it, since it does still have the original paint under it. I wonder why they like didn't finish painting most of these. It looks like they painted most of it and then just didn't do its eyes. And it has some very interesting looking eyebrows. And then this monkey, which I actually might paint anyways, because I don't really like the design on it. I think its eyes look kind of funny, but it is actually in pretty good condition, except for that music note on the top of its head. It's like kind of smearing a little bit. And then this cat, who's kind of funny looking, her eyes are all green, so that one I'm just going to take all the paint off too, which might be harder since black paint is harder to take off. And this poor cat, it's in pretty good condition, except for that pink that's on it, which will not come off, so I don't really know what I'll do about that. So the reason I bought all of these is because they're pretty cheap, and then also the ones that I won't be able to clean, I'll just customize those ones. And I wanted to customize some LPS anyways. Anyways, that's all for this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And today I will just be doing like an LPS haul video, and I'll be showing you some different LPS that I got from eBay, thrift stores, and flea markets. So anyways, I will start with the LPS from eBay. So the first one is this raccoon. It's really cute. I love its design. And it does have um, a bunch of like pen on its eyes there. And I tried washing it off, but it wouldn't come off. So I'm probably just going to repaint its eyes. And this really cute bear, which also has pen on its eyes. So I'll probably just repaint its eyes there. But this bear is super cute. And then this dog. I love this dog. He is really cool looking. He, he's like a lot bigger in person because like like I've seen pictures of these dogs and they look smaller to me but he's actually a lot bigger he actually has a hole on top of his head and next is this panda I am so happy that I got this one she's probably my favorite one in this lot she's just so pretty and she's even prettier in person <laughs> it's just 
I really like her. She's so pretty. And this cute little pig. I love pigs. And a cat who is missing its tail. That I didn't even notice it was missing its tail until after I got it. I could probably... That would be a really fun challenge, though, trying to remake its tail. That would be fun. But other than its tail missing, this one is really cute. I love her. She would look cool as, like, a character in a series or something. Yeah, but anyways, a lot of these pets are damaged, but that meant that I got the dash hunt for cheaper. And this really pretty butterfly. This one is so pretty. I love her design. And here's the last pet in this lot, which is this dash hunt, who is super pretty. I love her. And next are all the things that I got from Goodwill. And the next thing I got is this, um, the Get Better Center. It's the hospital, and I really like this. I, I've been wanting this hospital for a while now because it's just so cool. I love this little poster. It's really cool. And then it also has, like, this little bed here. Oh, and this little, like, door that's really cool. This thing opens and closes. And then it also has the scale, but it's missing like, the actual scale thing. But basically, you like put the pet on there, and it it weighs them, which is really cool. I actually ordered this on eBay like last year, but we never got it. They like never sent it to us, and then we had to get our money refunded. It is missing a door though. It's definitely missing a few parts. I actually do have this part already. The um the little bed that they sit on. I've had this for a while. I think it just like goes in. Or not. I don't know where it goes. Maybe it goes in the door that I'm missing. <laughs> but yeah. And then the next thing I got is this um swing thing. Yeah it's a, a swing. It's like a tire swing I think. Um so I had this thing for a while already but I didn't have any of the swings that went to it. So now I have this little swing that basically just attaches on here like this. And then the pet can go in there and, and swing in it. So that's really cool, especially since I've had this for a while. Now I have the swing. And then I actually also found this extra like little tree top thing at Goodwill, even though I already have it. Maybe I could like replace that one with this one. I'm going to see which one works better. So we have Bryce here. He's going to... Oh, this one actually does work. It's not spinning because it's like not on top of the thing, but it, it was making that sound a minute ago, so it's like supposed to spin. Well, now it's not spinning anymore. That's what happened in my last one too. It just like stopped spinning. So. Oh, this one actually is spinning. So I guess they both work the same amount. They can only spin for a little bit and then they stop, so yeah. But once one of them dies, I'll probably just replace it with the other one. So now I have two spinny things and now are the things that I got from a flea market so first I got this adorable little dog he cannot stand up but anyways he is so tiny and adorable and I love his colors he's very cute and then I got this ferret who's really pretty I love her colors and this chihuahua who is super cute he is probably my favorite out of like all of these. Isn't he adorable? He has these little tiny squinty eyes. I think he was the first LPS. I know that the first LPS was a chihuahua, but I don't know if it was this chihuahua. But anyways, he is just so cute and adorable and tiny. And then I got this ice cream cart. I actually already have this one, but it's in blue, so now I have a pink ice cream cart. And then I got this lamb McDonald's toy, which I know it's a McDonald's toy, but it's still really cute. I love her. And then I got this little turtle. This one's so pretty. I love her eyes and her colors. And next is another McDonald's toy, which is this little dog. It's super cute. I don't know why other people don't think they're cute. This has a really heavy head. I just noticed that. I guess that's good because they like weren't using super cheap materials back then, but now they, they are using very cheap materials. But I really like the older McDonald's toys. They're just super cute looking. And I don't like the newer ones as much though. And next we have the notorious um, Vinny in a um, cowboy hat McDonald's toy. Um, so I actually, I've ha I have this one already, but I've had like three of them. And my friend has one of them. She really likes these, so I keep buying more of them because isn't he just like the funniest looking thing ever? Yes, he is. His face though. And next is this little rhino, which is actually a special edition pet because it has like that little paw print there. It says 
LPS on it and my camera it won't focus very well, but yeah, it's a special edition pet and it's super cute. I like this one. And next is this little woodpecker, which is really dirty. I'm definitely gonna clean it later. And another McDonald's pet. It's a little lizard. This one's cute. It's funny looking. It just has like these giant eyes and he has Oh, there's his mouth. It's it's cute. But he's kind of funny looking too. And the next one is this little tiny fairy LPS. She kind of looks like an apple to me because she's red and green. But I really like the fairy ones, so I'm glad that I got this one. So anyways, that's all for my quick LPS haul video. Or maybe it won't be quick. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. <laughs> but anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you are having a great day, and I will see you all next time. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And so a few days ago, I ordered some LPS that had like paint on them and I wanted to repaint them and sell them. And so I'm just going to be showing them to you, I guess, in this video. It's like an unboxing video, I guess. So here is the first one. It is a bear. It has like a little scratch here. Like there's like a little dent in its, in its head. And then it also has one back here, so maybe I'll have to like paint over its head. And so basically it, look, it has like some white paint here. And they started to paint their eyes, but they did not finish. So I have a few ideas for this one. I don't really know what I'm going to paint on it. And then this is definitely one of the ones that I'm going to sell though. It also looks like maybe they're trying to like give it a bow tie here. So I'm going to make it a real bow tie. And here's the next one. It is a giraffe and it is like a McDonald's toy one. So it's not like the same material as the normal pets. It's a lot more bobbly than the real ones because it has a different neck. I love how they made like little spots on its hooves and up here, and so I know exactly what I'm going to do for this guy. I'm going to paint its eyes, of course, and then I'm going to give it some rainbow spots. I just thought that would look cool, and then I will sell it with some accessories. So here's the next one, and I'm not completely sure what I'm going to do with it because it's like already like finished. It's already completely painted, so I don't really want to repaint it, and so maybe I'll just keep it. Or I could just sell it how it is. I'm definitely going to fix its pupil though. Its pupil looks kind of weird to me. Like it's really small. And then it, like they usually have like another highlight there. One thing about LPS is, is like if you paint them completely black. You can't really give them a black eye. Because it like blends in. So maybe I could like give it a little spot around the eye. That would look cool. And here is the next one. It's this adorable little pig. I really like how it looks. Um, the only thing I don't like is its nose is chipped off there. So... I don't really know how to fix that since I don't have the same paints. So if I like try to paint over the nose and it'll just look weird. But I just think its design is really cute. And next is this horse. I really like the theme of it where they did like these little pink hearts. But I probably am going to have to completely repaint this one because it's like all chipping off here. And like I said, I don't have like the same paint. So if I just try to paint over it, it's just gonna look weird. And next is this jaguar, who is also like completely finished it looks like, but its tail is chipping off, and then it also has like this big spot on its head. I think I will just have to like repaint this, because some of the paint on this is like not the best quality. It like, it definitely doesn't feel as good, it's like really, I think the paint is kind of thin, maybe that's why it's chipping off. And then also you can like really see like the brush marks there, so it's not really like the best paint. And here's the next one, who is this cute little poodle, and I think I'm just going to keep this one because she's so cute. I don't really know what to do about their, her eyes here, though. A lot of the eyes aren't really painted the best. There's, like, way too much black in her eyes, like, the pupil is, like, really big. And then you can't really see the blue as much, and there's no, like, white. Maybe I'll just keep it, like, how it is, because the, I don't think the eyes are too much of a problem. They look... When she's really far away though, her, her eyes like look way too big. And here is the last one, who is this monkey, and the paint on this monkey is like really chipping off here. And it's like chipping off over here. And I don't really know like how I should sell this one because I don't know, because I don't think anyone would buy it since it's one of the mini ones. So maybe I could sell it with one of the other ones. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I do like its design, how they did like these little spots here though. So those were all the LPS that I got. I got them from this website called Mercari, and the shipping was super fast, I really liked that. It looked like, like all the things on Mercari had pretty fast shipping, I only 
bought these though, I didn't buy anything else, but, but it looks like they all had fast shipping. And so I will be selling a lot of these once I finish painting them. And so if you have any ideas for like what I should do with some of them, like what designs I should paint on them, please comment them on my other channel or on Instagram. Anyways, that's all for this video and I will see you next time. Hey everybody and welcome back to another haul video. I know I've been doing a lot of these like LPS haul videos lately, but I guess you guys seem to be enjoying it because when I go to my YouTube analytics, LPS haul is like the most searched up term. But anyways, here are the first pets that I got. I bought this whole lot of, of like damaged pets. This is the first one. It is this Dalmatian and I don't already have this one so I'm really glad that I finally do because I think it's a very cool pet. And next is this cat which as you can see is quite messed up. It's got like, I don't know, it kind of looks like maybe they're trying to draw a superhero mask on it because it's like all around its eyes. But that just looks like nail polish to me, which should be very easy to clean off. Um, I think the hardest thing will be, it looks like some of the yellow. Like the original yellow paint has already come off too. And next is this bunny, which is in pretty good condition to me, except for this little pen mark on the side of its head. It looks really good to me. And this white cat, which I think has very cool eyes. I like how it's got like blue in the middle, like around the other blue there. And it looks like they tried to paint its nails pink, which I personally think are very cool. They're very pretty looking. <laughs> and then it also has a bit of like black paint on the top of its head here, which should be pretty easy to clean off. And this purple polar bear, which is probably my favorite one out of this whole lot. I just think it's very cool and it's definitely in the best condition. It does have like a few marks over here, but like those aren't very bad to me. And this cat, which I actually already have, even though mine actually has its hair there. This one, its like hair was cut off, so it has like this little stub of hair here. And then also it's like, the bobble on its head is a little messed up, so I have to like, its head won't turn, its head like won't turn around all the way unless I'm like, unless I do it with both hands. And then this guy, which is a dog, and I do already have him, of course in much better condition. And this also just looks like black paint, which should come off really easily. And next is this kitten, which doesn't even look like it's in like really bad condition to me. I guess I have very low standards because like, because most people probably would say that this is in bad condition because its bow here is like, the paint is coming off, but I could just like repaint its bow and its nose here. Like it doesn't seem like very much of a problem to me. And lastly, we have these two hamsters. I was, I was trying to put them both in at once and then they just fell over, but yeah, I think they're the same pet. This one actually has more white around it, so they could be variants, but I actually do have this hamster already, I'm pretty sure, so I could just trade both of them. Again, they just have like black paint here and that'll come off really easily. I don't even know what happened to this one's eyes. They're like really shiny. They kind of look cool though. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or not. And the next thing that I got won't even fit on the screen. So here it is. It is a LPS toothbrush holder. I mean, like, how cute is that? It's got a panda and then it's like sitting next to the cup and then there's the, it actually comes with an actual toothbrush. I really like how it has like the little diamonds in its eyes and it's so cute. A lot of people have been telling me that it looks creepy. It's just like staring off into space. I guess it does kind of look like that, but but it looks cute to me. I like how it looks. And then as you can tell, it's still like in the box. I am considering opening it, but then that wouldn't, that would make it like less valuable if I opened it. So I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is because I wasn't planning on using it anyways. And I think it looks really cool just in the box like that. That mouse too is just super cute, just sitting there. And the next thing that I got is this LPS bag, which I got a while ago, but I figured I might show it in this video too, because why not? And so it has a picture of these Blythe dolls here with their little pets, which I think are like really, it's just really cool. I like this one's outfit. She's very pretty. And then here's the other side, which this is actually the only side that was in the video. It didn't show me the side with the Blythe pets, so that was a surprise. I, I thought it was pretty cool. and. My cat just has to be in all of my unboxing videos. Say hi, Meredith. I think she's trying to leave. 
And that's how it looks on the inside. My cat wants to see too, I guess. Anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. I guess most people would... I really need a new filming space. But, well, that's just how they are because they're like LPS or just like they're marketing towards young kids. That's, that's the point. Well, my cat doesn't want to move, so we'll just, we can just leave her here. I don't know how this even happened that my nail, like, got chipped in the very center of my nail there. It's like, just a triangle where it got chipped.